least a year to a year and a half. By September, ready for deployment. We cannot put a date on when we will get a vaccine. Predictions about when a vaccine for COVID-19 may be ready vary wildly, to say the least. So what's the truth? First, the good news. There's probably never been a better time for mankind to need a new vaccine. Exciting advances in biotech and outbreaks like SARS and Ebola have galvanised huge progress, just when we need it most. At the Australian Centre for Disease Preparedness, animal trials are already underway on two vaccines, one from the US and one from Britain's Oxford University. That's only possible so soon because of leaps in technology. These vaccines are very novel um, and there has never been a, a, a one that's actually made it all the way to licensing, uh, but they certainly have been demonstrated to induce uh, parts of the immune system. Uh, so the question is, um, will they produce uh, a sufficient level of stimulation and is it to the right arms of the immune system in such a way that it can uh, prevent the development of disease. Scientists learnt a lot from the SARS outbreak in China almost two decades ago, gave them insights into a similar kind of virus to COVID-19, leading to big breakthroughs. And giving grounds for more optimism, the sheer number and variety of labs and companies now pursuing a vaccine. Possibly as many as 100 separate efforts are underway. I'm hopeful that some of these uh, uh, endeavours uh, come to fruition and we will have a vaccine in the end. The methods are diverse. In Israel, these scientists believe research on coronaviruses in chickens will help them make an oral vaccine for humans soon. But they, like everyone else, know that even if they're successful, a new vaccine could be held up for months, if not years, by a lengthy approval process. They want that changed. I think that under these circumstances, we should consider again what is bureaucracy and what is essential to bring a safe and effective vaccine to the people. And we hope that everyone will be reasonable and uh, that we'll find a way. Africa's Ebola outbreak showed that with an epidemic moving at wildfire speed, you can fast-track vaccine production and approval. The hope is the same can happen now. Normally, you test the new vaccine first on animals, which could take one or two years, then start clinical tests on a group of people, first to see if it's safe, then if it does actually stop the virus. And that could take another two years. Only then do you test it on much larger groups. That could potentially take a lot more time, taking us up to eight years or more. With the first COVID-19 vaccines, they're doing the first tests at the same time, testing on animals and on humans, and gambling on starting to manufacture it too. And authorities say they'll scrap any unnecessary red tape to make this period of time even shorter. But there are just too many unknowns to say how much shorter. Veterans of the vaccine industry are working overtime to manage our expectations. I think people are envisaging that we'd be, we would be out of lockdown in a few weeks. Whatever we do with vaccines, they're not going to be available in a few weeks. There may be some other treatments that demonst are demonstrated to work reasonably well, and they may be available in a short time, but vaccines are not going to be available in that kind of time frame. And the most sobering fact of all, we may never find a vaccine. There still isn't one, for instance, against HIV or the common cold. The need has never been greater, the technology never more promising. And around the world, scientists are scrambling to become the ones that beat this pandemic.